Hello and welcome to Musicals with Meatloaf. <laughs> Do you remember our uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show episode where I defended Meatloaf? Yes. I was like, man, I, I think he does this song really well. I like his singing. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, that was a long time ago, but... <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't recommend rewatching that episode, but uh, <laughs> but I did defend Meatloaf in it. Here I am being bullied by <laughs> Meatloaf. <laughs> For context, Andrew, people on our Twitter have probably saw the vague tweet of me being like, yo, on this Friday, which was May 14th, Hey Ductor, which is you on Twitter, has been yes. bullied by <laughs> Meatloaf. Yes, that Meatloaf. And we applied a few screenshots of the funnier moments and not really of the the full scope of it. And people are like, we kind of need context, which is fair. And then on Saturday, it grew into more. But let's just start from the beginning, Andrew. Tell us what happened. So Meatloaf is on Facebook, and he has his official page where he, you know, sometimes posts and things. He has been kind of on a, uh, uh, like a... A, a QAnon spree, if if that's the proper term. A spree um, is a good wording. Uh, yes. <laughs> yesterday he posted he posted a very very long post. Jess, why don't you just read the start of it and and we'll kind of we'll, we'll get the gist. <clears throat> of it, I gotta I figure out my meatloaf voice. 126 ex admirals warn the U.S. in deep peril. The replies are funny. I only posted what the generals wrote. I want to be with the generals. <laughs> one. More than 120 retired generals and admirals from the United Armed Forces warned in a letter this week that the U.S. was entering a state of deep peril under the current leadership. The letter, which came from a group called Flag <laughs> Officers No. 4 America, said the country was in a fight for survival as a constitutional republic <laughs> against Marxist forces that seek to destroy Americans' rights. Number two, the current okay, administration... Okay. <laughs> I, I wanted the part thing. where it said the current administration had launched a full-blown assault over oh, no. on our constitutional rights in a dictator <laughs> manner. Dictatorial. Dictatorial manner, <laughs> bypassing the Congress with more than 50 executive orders quickly signed, <laughs> many reversing the, admi the previous administration's effective policies and regulations. That <laughs> Isn't that exactly what Trump did when he got elected? And exactly what Obama did? This is just what presidents do when they come in. Yeah. No, no, this time, this time it's a, it's Marxist forces seeking to destroy America. I see that post and, you know, I'm a bit of a troll. I'll be real. I wanted to comment on it. He comments so, much more on Facebook than he does on Twitter because he loves messing with right wing people. I, uh, that's true. Should, should I read my comment? Is it funny enough that it's worth reading? Honestly, I think it's important <laughs> that you read it because A, I think it was dumb of you to write this, honestly. You kind of I mean, need to. It is, but I think it's very funny. I think personally. It, <laughs> for people that don't believe it's a joke, it does come across as a threat. Um, I do not back you for saying it, but I will back <laughs> you in his responses, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Jess thinks that this comes across as a threat. <laughs> you threaten meatloaf. <laughs> well, you guys let me know. I'll read it as a threat then. Yeah, read, I'll read it, it as directly a as a threat. <clears throat> yes. Hello. I'm the Grand General and King of the Antifa Private Military Police. I have been in close consort with the CEO of Marxism, and we have both decided the invasion date will be on July 4th. We, along with Joe Biden, will be coming for your meat and freedom, as written in the Communist Manifesto. <laughs> I think it was dumb of you to write that because a lot of people would just say the extremist words and be like, oh, he's a terrorist. Someone replied, come armed, heavily armed. <laughs> As, that's an actual and then threat. I comment, and then I comment again, I can confirm all the Marxist presence will have at least one arm and two legs. One arm? <laughs> I don't know if anyone is going to agree with you that this comes across as a threat, but okay. I'm saying <laughs> it is not out of the realm of reality. Everything from coward. this point forward, I agree <laughs> Jess with you Jess is a coward. On. Jess is a coward and doesn't like jokes, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> from this point on, I am completely on your side. Are you sure? Because I, I go ahead and I, I make a post about the meatloaf saga and complain that it had come to an end too soon. He made a post saying that he was taking the post down. Uh, actually, do you want to read this again? Uh, yes, send it to one? me. I, I want to be meatloaf. I will portray meatloaf in this event. Sure. He edited the original post and changed it to this and then eventually took it down. This post is coming down. I thought Biden was going to bring unity. All in caps. Jan 6 was bad. 
I ask you, do you all agree with riots, burning, and looting that happened all summer? Cost over six billion in damage, and a lot in black-owned business districts. The 14 oh black children killed this summer by oh black drive-by sh- Is he JonTron oh talking god. about black-on-black crime? Oh god, yes he is. He actually is. Oh my what god. Do you, what do you that disagreed with my post believe? What is the real truth? You could only agree with the mainline press. I watch NBC News, ABC News, NSNBC, <laughs> CNN, and Fox News. How many of you really want to know the truth? If you do, you need all the facts, not just half-truths and outright lies. Learn the truth and be prepared. If you ever are curious about what politics on Facebook looks like, <laughs> that's it right there. <laughs> I screenshot both of those posts, the original and the edit, and then my silly comment chain, and I make a post about how the Meatloaf saga has tragically come to a close. And then, probably like... A few hours. It's a bit while. A few... Yeah, it's like a few hours later, uh, he comments on my personal Facebook page on a post about my recently released uh, single for my band Thanks uh, we we covered Lever Johnny the Sea Shanty It's a good uh, music posted... video I liked it a lot just by promo It's a lot of fun We posted that and I have that cuz that was on Wednesday so that was on my wall very recently Meatloaf comments underneath it That's, That's music? music question mark <laughs> Just directly insulting me <laughs> I mean, and then deletes it. Yeah, he very deletes quickly it. deletes it. And you send this to me like this happened. I'm like, he probably just thought better of it. You know, I'm a celebrity. I probably shouldn't be messing around with just randos on the internet. It, it, it's a bad look, and it kind of draws oh. a lot of attention to them. I, I gave him the benefit of the doubt that he had like a moment of weakness of like, oh yeah, that's probably a cheap shot. But, but, but. um, then he goes to the meatloaf saga posts that I made, <laughs> and he decides he's gonna comment on that one. Um, and he makes uh, one of the most bizarre comments I've ever seen. Sorry, people don't follow my Facebook, so I post a lot of very dumb things on Facebook. But I made a post on May 4th, Star Wars Day, where I did just a dumb joke about, uh, you know... The fear uh, leads to anger, anger leads to hate. Yeah, hate fear leads, to, leads to anger. I did it as like an infinite loop, like anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering, suffering leads to fear, fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate. He comments, so what is your truth? Is it in your music? Do you believe in anything? You wrote on my FB, a threat to me and my family. It has been reported to the authorities. You are so <laughs> brave, right? You are a coward, fool. You take me on. That is a joke. What you wrote, <laughs> anger. <laughs> I gotta read this whole thing. Anger leads to hate. <laughs> Hate leads to suffering. <laughs> suffering leads to fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to fear. Fear leads to suffering. Suffering leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. You write hate. <laughs> it's, just like, it's just meatloaf. He's like, what? What is this meatloaf? What the f- Meatloaf, what are you doing, my friend? What are you doing? Meatloaf. Meatloaf, you're like, how old is Meatloaf? At least six, dude. He has to. Be. You have, you have like successful career and and like, what the fuck are you doing on my Facebook wall? <laughs> We're big in our small community, in of some people know us and like, oh, those guys. We are not known in like big circles. Yeah, so we're that, idiots on the is... internet, and you were just a guy that commented on Facebook. So then he deletes that comment. Yes, he does. <laughs> and makes a new one. Your response. That's important. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, this was very quick and he never actually said anything about it. But I, I replied to that. I, king of Antifa, will indeed take you up on this challenge. My status is a joke. I write only in love. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what his post meant. <laughs> Fair. I thought he was challenging me to tell him that my status was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> this is the point where I make the initial musicals with cheese post where it's like, it's obvious he doesn't get Phantom Menace jokes. And then he deletes that post yes. and makes a new comment. 
<laughs> on the same post. And you've posted this one on Twitter because it's hilarious. Yes. Um, he <laughs> says, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Notice he doesn't. Ex- <laughs> Someone on Twitter pointed out that he doesn't go beyond the part that is sung in <laughs> Schoolhouse Rock. So it's my head canon that he only knows that part because of Schoolhouse Rock. I I scrolled down in his in his uh, Facebook and there's a post where he says that he studied constitutional law. And I, I, I I'm wondering I'm wondering if he studied at the Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> <laughs> He deleted the the preamble to the Constitution because he hates America. He, he, I don't know why he deleted it. Honestly, it's it's gone forever now. Though we never will never get it back. <laughs> Goodbye, Constitution. Meatloaf destroy the Constitution. <laughs> then very quickly he posts this really short blurb. Um, on, one of my favorites on your Facebook, and this was the other one that you put on Twitter. What is this in response to? I never got that. He just posted this on the <sighs> same exact uh, post. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Another fat artist. Much easier today. No, he just, he's just like, yeah, you're fat. <laughs> that, like he <laughs> went from insane to worse insane to the Constitution to just, you're fat. Uh, Thing is, you're not really that fat. You're just kind of a short, shorter guy and stopped here because of that. I think like if we put you guys on a scale, he definitely weighs more even at his fittest. I'm not gonna insult Meatloaf on his weight. I don't care. Yeah, like, yeah, that good would for, be good down for to him. Meatloaf. Sir, I hear he lost being a lot of weight. Successful. I I hear he's doing good, but I don't like the uh, fact it, that he's outright like up to this point. You're just kind of trolling each other. This is an outright attack on you as a human being, and that hurts. And I think that's some <laughs> shit. Honestly, this pissed me I mean, off. He kind of opened with that too, though, by, by saying that my music wasn't music. I mean, that could just be a taste thing. We say things on our podcast, and we'd be hypocrites to like be like, "Oh, someone else can't say that about our stuff." So then I make a jokey post. I say I, I made the same post on Twitter. I said, "Meatloaf has given my music a glowing endorsement." He goes so far as to call me an artist. I mean, that's hilarious. I'm getting called a fat <laughs> artist by Meatloaf. <laughs> Um, and then this was my big mistake because we assume like hey it's done we had our fun that was a funny thing that happened and we can move on with our dumb musical theater podcast right but i comment because i wanted to stay out of this but i wanted like a little twinge of it so i i I quote mr loaf himself and i say that's music question mark (laughs) (laughs) which i thought was really funny yeah well (laughs) Um, Meatloaf didn't think it was funny. Meatloaf did not think it was funny at all. And that, now suddenly <laughs> I'm involved in this. Can't handle the meat. Don't don't insult the loaf. You get to voice the comment in response <laughs> to your comment. I get to insult myself as Meatloaf. Comment is a little bit spooky for me because he actually kind of went he, into he my He doxed Facebook. you a bit. And I think this is where it's like, this is crossing a line a lot. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. I think you should privatize your Facebook, which is another thing that I think you should just do. Eh. So here's his response to me asking if thanks is music, which is Andrew's band. Meatloaf is spelt with two words, but I guess you and your friends love being idiots. I mean, he's got us there. You can insult yeah, me. It's okay because I have a had a very successful life and career. I just want to throw out there, I never insulted him in this entire thing. I have, I've said everything. I, I mocked him. For his political opinions, I have not insulted him. You never said anything about his art. You never said, never fat shamed him. You were basically just like, man, it's crazy what you believe. And he's like, you fat piece of shit. Your music sucks (laughs) and your mom dresses you funny. Did you get fired from Best Buy? And then he switches to me. Oh, yes, Jesse. I have sold over 100 million records. (laughs) Those people like my music and thinks it's pretty good music. I I think he's missing the joke that I was referring to your music. Did you do what you loved in life? Oh, Wolfie here is so insecure he has to make himself feel more important by attacking others. A very sad man. I am so sorry your life is a failure. You wanted so much more, but fear held you back. You can never commit because of fear. I gave everything to my career, and it turned out pretty good. And it's not over four major back surgeries, just put it on hold, as did COVID. Oh, yes, a single I put out in 1978, 
Paradise by dashboard by the dashboard light went gold in 2018 and platinum in 2019 and will be double platinum in 2021. What has your music done again, Wolfie? So your failures just keep making yourself happy by being a moron. Whatever floats your boat. Love you, meat. P.S. I have also been in over 80 films. What a, again, what have you done? Write me and remind me. I know. Best Buy. What else? I think he's not referring to me outside of, I've done a million records, what else? Like, like this is all in response to me, but he's just talking to you. I just can't fucking believe that this is real. <laughs> So as of like five o'clock on the fifteenth of May, that that is where the meatloaf That's the saga end. ends. I'm I'm not going to egg him on anymore. I, I honestly I didn't even egg him on beyond the first comment. Really, I do want to look at some though. of the responses to this because when Meatloaf replies to someone, that someone being me. <laughs> You did reply to him. You did. I did reply to him. I just said, thank you for the kind words, Meatloaf. I love the big middle finger of still not writing his two words. <laughs> like, that was your little middle finger to that. <laughs> By the way, I was I was not fired from Best Buy. You... <laughs> I've never been fired from a job. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the comments. What I really want to talk about is a woman. I feel like it's important to put that voice on it, but that's all we'll say is, who the hell is DeWolf anyway? He looks like an ass. <laughs> Don't let what he says get to you. Haters gonna hate. You're in a different class with way more class. Uh, there's a lady that has a pretty measured, reasonable response. I'm noticing all these are women, mostly. <laughs> like it leans female. Yeah. That's, that's the meatloaf crowd, I guess. And this lady says, You really don't need to prove anything. The success speaks for itself. Don't let people like this take up time and energy. They feed off it. Let them fade away. I doubt any of us in New Zealand have heard of this person. And then the final one is just, Sure, meat log. Now go get Let's get you to bed. <laughs> Let's get you to bed. One of your friends, I'm going to read, can I say his name? Yeah, Ian is one of my friends. I, he used to sing in a, in a metal band I was in a mm -hmm. long time ago. Imagine being such a snowflake that you feel the need to brag about your album sales to a random that's a fraction of your age. You used to have a successful life and career, but now you spend your time defending your honor against people you've never met. Also, your band is called Meatloaf. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. Really, honestly, at this point, I'm kind of hoping no more things happen. Really, I think this is our fun little moment. <laughs> you didn't say anything really that intense. I know you say it's a threat, but come on, man. It's so, what I said is so absurdly over the top. If you can't see that that is a joke. A lot of folks <laughs> on the older side, and I know he's been through a lot. He lived through the 60s and 70s. He's probably done a lot of drugs and all that. The sense of reality is probably not as secure as it is for like young folks like you and I. So when people, and also they didn't always live with the internet where sarcasm comes through a lot clearer for folks like you and I than it does for older folk. I called myself the king of Antifa. Yeah, they probably think there's a king of Antifa. I don't know how to explain right-wingers to you, but they're a bit crazy. That's the meatloaf saga. I don't really have much more to say on that. I thought it was very funny. Uh, I probably won't make any more posts about it, though, unless he does something more ridiculous, which I kind of hope he doesn't. Yeah. I don't want to become Streisand affected, like no one gives a shit about our podcast and you're just the guy that fought we Meatloaf. Though, I don't know if I'd be unhappy being the guy who took on Meatloaf. All right, fellas, let us know what you think of the Meatloaf Saga. <laughs> yes, let us know what you think of the Meatloaf Saga. If you don't think it's funny, uh, message Meatloaf, tell him that he needs to be funnier. I'm sorry. Yeah, Meatloaf needs to tell better jokes. <laughs> Meatloaf, come on, man. That's the best you could have done? That wasn't even that funny. Not a single joke was told. He just said, you're fat. <laughs> the closest thing to funny he said was, that's music. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great response to anyone posting my, anything. My, uh... My imagined uh, response is that he posted that and then he listened to it and then he deleted it. Can you do me a favor? <laughs> I know you guys are yeah. working on your EP right now. When you release it, can you please put a blurb on there that says that some music question mark meatloaf? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> please do that. This has all been uh, a huge advertisement for uh, my single, Lever Johnny. Yes, uh, go check, check it, it out. out. Check it out. Um, <laughs> highly recommended. Thanks. This might be the best way to like get promo to your album. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. My album is Meatloaf Approved. Uh, Meatloaf that Approved. Uh, That's music. He says, 
He says that's music, and he says that I am another fat artist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's even he's even hopeful for us. He says it should be easier for us today. So yeah. <laughs> See you, you guys next have time, an guys. excellent day. Have a great week. I don't one. know when this is dropping, but either have a good week or have a good weekend. Make whatever. it a good week. <laughs> don't let don't 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 comment on Meatloaf stuff, please. And it's time for us to